Hey guys, it's Shonda Hill. Are you welcome to Shonda Says? As you know, it's Wednesday. Naughty Wednesday this week because I'm going to talk about a subject that I rarely, if ever, spoke about. At least on Shonda Says. I'm sure our man and wife, me and Scoop, touched upon it. But last week, I had a family member of mine. I thought about it. I said, I better not say the name because I don't want to blow him up. But anyway, we had this great conversation and... He said, you know, you haven't covered swinging yet. And I was like, you know what? I haven't. Haven't covered that topic yet, on Shonda says. So I didn't want to cover this in a way that was judgmental because I can only assume that a lot of people that watch Shonda says are either married in relationships or they're young, whatever. But maybe there are some people that watch me and they are swingers. A lot of times people, that's the thing with swinging, from what I understand. A lot of people don't want to say that they are swingers because they don't want to be judged. So what exactly is swinging? Swinging is when you have either a married couple or a couple in general, you don't have to necessarily be married, and you're both agreeing to sleep with other people. And in doing my due diligence for this blog, I found a lot of kinky things about swinging. Now, I think kinky is definitely connected to swinging because, you know, most marriages and relationships, mo monogamous relationships, they don't want to share. I know that I don't. But I want to do this vlog and I don't want to judge. And I'm very big on that. I'm not big on judging people or labeling people. If you're into swinging and that's something that you and your partner agree with, then by all means swing into the night with it because that's what you enjoy. Now swinging... Uh, Excuse me. I'm a little all over the place because this subject has me like, whoo, whoo. But anyway, swinging, is it something I would ever do? No. It's not something I would ever do. But here's the thing. There is a whole lifestyle to swinging. And when I was doing my homework for this project, this vlog, I said project, for this vlog, there are people that actually have events for swinging. And there are websites that cater to trips for swinging, like there's swinging cruises and there's swinging parties. There's even, you have to know and be connected little parties that you get invited to that you know what time it is. Now, here's my thing. Can couples last that swing? What is the failure rate of relationships that allow couples to do other people sexually? You'll be surprised that those couples' rates of breaking up and divorce are actually lower than monogamous marriages and relationships. Here's the thing. A lot of people don't believe that monogamy is normal. Because if you really sit and think about it, can you really be with someone sexually, only one person, let's say the next 25, 30 years? Can you do that? Can you honestly not be with anyone else, anyone else for the rest of your life, that you just commit yourself sexually to this one person? Now, I know me, and I know, I know a lot of us are going to say, yes, I can easily do that. But there are people that are just not built for monogamy. And people that are not built for monogamy can't feel bad because that's not, they're not monogamous people. And a lot of times men... Are equated to being cheaters they're equated to being not able to be monogamous and you know we women have oftentimes dealt with men that go out there and cheat well my thing is you love me how can you be out there doing those things I think that swingers do generally do love their their partners you can love someone and still sleep with another person because I think love is an emotion and sex is an act to some people some people can definitely have a line and know the line I'm not one of those people. I'm one of those people that, let's put it this way. I'm going. You guys are going to be my, my girlfriends tonight or my guy friend if you're watching. There have been times that, I'll, that I have tested my husband and I'll go, babe, you ever thought about having a threesome? And he's like, hell no. That was a good sign for him because other than that, I would have scratched his eyes out. But I will be honest with you and tell you that he has had those experiences prior to marrying me. 
to get that crap out your system because I'm not dealing with that. But anyway, we're going to get back on the subject. But there are people that, there definitely are couples that, you know, they enjoy their time together and they're, they enjoy their time with another couple or other people. There are women that are married that are just into other women. And their husband allows them to sleep with other women. Now, I don't know too many women that allow a man to be with another man. Because see that, you know, see, this is the thing with swinging. It's just, that's the perfect name for it. It's swinging, meaning it's all over the place. And it's hard for people that are monogamous. It's hard for people that are married. It's hard for people to grasp the validity of this even working. So... How do we how do we talk about swinging without it being a nasty taste in our mouths? The reality is we can't judge. When it comes to relationships and sex, each couple knows what works for them. As my in my own marriage, I know what works for me. I know what works for Shonda. Here's my thing. You ever do this? I'm on I bet you guys have done this before. You're with your man, right? And, and even if you let your mind wander and say, okay, what if I allow this, this to go down? And in my mind, I imagine that my husband's with this woman, right? And I'm there. Do you know after 20 seconds in, I'm ready to cut everybody in the room? That's just me. That's my personality. I've already got jealousy issues, believe it or not. I don't play that. I'm, a, I'm Just him looking at some titties and ass would have me like, you like her titties. You like that ass. Like, I feel like he would be enjoying it. <laughs> he would be enjoying it a little too much. And I just, my jealousy would just take over me. So quite frankly, if you're a swinger and you're watching this, I have a lot of respect for you because I don't know how you do it. But kudos to you doing it. So what I did was I went on and I found some sites that cater to swingers. And I'm going to name these sites for you. There's swinglifestyle.com. There's swapfinder.com. And there's dreampleasuretours.com. Now, this one site I'm about to tell you about, I'm sure you've seen the commercial, and it says, life is short, have an affair. Now, morally, you know, that's just it with swinging. A lot of times, morality comes in, and that's when people start judging. But this one particular website, ashleymadison.com, it's a site that caters to married couples that wish to go outside their marriage. Do I advocate that? Just in terms of Shonda and who I am and what I represent, I don't advocate that. But again, there are many things that I discuss and talk about with Shonda says that I may not agree with in my own way, but I don't judge people for what they do. Again, every relationship is different and everybody does what they want to do. As long to me, as long as you're not hurting kids and animals, do what you want to do. And if you're not hurting your partner, and that's the thing. If you are not hurting your partner, you both agreeing that this is what you want to do, then swing. Okay? Now, I want you guys' opinion about this video because I love when I do videos and you you um, you give me your, your two cents, your comments. I love that. There's nothing better than comments. My thing is, would you swing or wouldn't you swing? And have you swung? I'm nosy to an extent. I'm the kind of nosy person that I'm nosy and you tell me stuff, but I would never say anything. I'm like my mom. I take stuff. My mother took so much to the grave and I, I get that from her. I don't, I don't repeat anything. I love that about my personality. That's why there's Sean that says, you can tell me anything. You can trust me. Now, if you say you're into animals and shit, I'm just like, did I say your cuss word? I probably did with that one. But anyway, to pick to piggyback on this swinging subject, I love to read. I've always been a huge reader. And the summer months are very sexy months for us. People are not clothed as much as in the other seasons. So to me, summer is very sexy. You have sex outside a little more. And, you know, it's just fun. So I love to read a sexy novel every month. So right now, I'm going to share with you guys. I'm reading this novel by Megan Hart. And it's called Tempted. It's probably backwards because I always do this wrong on a computer. But what it is, it's an erotic novel. And you'd be surprised when you read erotic novels. It makes you more erotic. It makes you more, it just opens up your mind more. And I don't know how much more I could be open. Because I feel like I'm spread eagle already. 
I don't know if that was a good term to use. But anyway, this particular <laughs> novel is about a woman that's married, happily married. And his best friend comes to visit and then he gets into bed with them. And it's just, this novel is hot. It's so hot to get on a plane. My husband was like, why don't you put that book down? And I'm like, well, if you read it, you would see why I haven't put it down yet. But anyway, you know, I, I love talking about this subject. You know, I didn't go deep into it. All I can say is if swinging is for you and you guys, you're as a couple, you're in agreement to it. Swing until your heart's content. But I want to close this. I want to close on this. The only behind I want my husband to see tooted up is mine. I'm going to leave on that note. I love you guys. Until next time. I have a loss for words. Until next time.